Hello, uh, my name is uh, Han Dorsen. I'm a professor uh, of international relations and conflict resolution at the University of Essex, where I've been teaching for the last uh, 15 years uh, about that. Uh, prior to that, um, I did my education in the Netherlands, where I grew up, uh, then went to the University of Texas in, in America, and I've taught in Norway, uh, Germany, uh, as well as short courses in Japan. Um, this particular, in this summer school, um, my contribution here is really to talk about the political institutions that countries can build uh, following conflict. What makes countries actually turn from war-torn societies into stable, well-functioning economies. Uh, and my goal is basically to introduce students to the kind of thinking that is going on about these topics, what we know, what we think we know, uh, and also what are still open questions, what they might want to discover and research for themselves, uh, but also to introduce them to frameworks of thinking about these problems. Um, so how do we approach the topic of post-conflict reconstruction? How do we think about what are ways for countries to escape uh, conflict traps, as we tend to call them? Uh, of course, uh, I'm very happy uh, to be doing this uh, at this university. I think um, I enjoy being here. Uh, I think it's very interesting. For me, it feels like a very young university uh, that is developing quite rapidly. Uh, the students that uh, I've been getting, I remember from last year, is a nice mix of students coming from various European countries, uh, but also some students that have a background in Albania uh, and are particularly interested in uh, the situation as it's been developing uh, on the Balkans. And so uh, I find it a very interesting and unique opportunity to be here um, and to introduce students to uh, our knowledge and my knowledge about this particular topic. And of course, uh, the kind of topics that we're discussing, so how do countries move from, from periods of where they experience conflict into periods where there are stable, well-developing economies are particularly relevant uh, for this particular part of the world, for the Balkans, um, that has gone over the period of the last 20 years from uh, a huge amount of instability, a rapid political transition, um, to now what seems to be fairly stable, uh, fairly politically coherent development going on. Obviously, there's still a number of outstanding issues, and I guess from a European perspective, uh, that concentrates uh, particularly on the situation of Kosovo, the role that Albania plays in that, and how it does or does not contribute to the possibilities of Albania eventually joining the European Union and becoming part of the larger uh, European community. Of course, and all this in the background of the European Union that is losing one of its members and that has, is looking at other topics. Uh, and also in the context of a world that seems to kind of be moving on to different issues and different problems. Um, so it's kind of interesting to see that if you look at the world about, let's say, 20 years ago, where the main focus was really on conflicts recovering from civil wars, from very rapid uh, political transition processes, that we now find ourselves back almost into a world which is much more polarized along the big geopolitical differences. Um, this is partially, if you think about Europe, the more um, assertive role that Russia is taking, uh, particularly relatively to the Ukraine and, and how Europe reacts to that, uh, but you also see it further afield and particularly most recently, of course, in the crisis that is surrounding North Korea. Uh, this is a typical example of a problem that, um, well, let's say about uh, 20 years ago, we felt the political process, the diplomatic process, uh, was put in place to deal with it. And that whole process has kind of collapsed, or by the wayside, and we now find ourselves uh, on the one end with uh, North Korea, which is increasingly aggressively pursuing its own self, what it sees as its own self-defense. Uh, via nuclear weapons, and of course uh, the United States that is vehemently opposed to it and also feels that it has to really stand firm as the protector of its allies in the region. Um, it's uh, a tense political situation, uh, but also a political situation where, which calls for diplomacy and for really thinking very seriously how conflicts can be resolved.